And speaking of interest rates, that gets us to the uh, late great, uh, well, maybe not so late, but certainly not so great, PIMCO fund, minus a certain star, it seems to be gasping for air. Charlie Gasparino on that. What's going on? Uh, we should point out that PIMCO, the big uh, mutual fund that used to be run by Bill Gross, a year after Bill Gross's exit, I believe he exited PIMCO. Uh, he's the co-founder, was right. his chief investment officer. He le left them about a year ago, like right on the date. Continues to bleed assets. The total fund complex is down about 25% since 2014. Now, PIMCO is what? It's a huge. large barn. Huge. 1.5 trillion right. under management right, right. now. Of but all that's, types duration. Yeah, but it's mostly bonds. And okay. that's down 20 5% since 2014, nearly that amount since Bill Gross left in September 2014. And, he, and here's what we know. They're, they're planning layoffs at the company. At least they're discussing it at a very high level. The management at PIMCO, I'm not saying they're going to do it, but from what I understand, at a very high level, to make up for this loss in assets since he's leaving, uh, they're, they're preparing for possible layoffs at this company. Now, here's the Did sort they of, make any bad bets? Well, or, you know, I thought they were doing okay, see, like you said. Here's the irony here. This shows you why the small investor out there, you've got to watch Fox Business, because we tell you, don't follow the celebrity out the door. Bill Gross was known as the Bond King. That's right. Yes, he was a very good investor for, for many years. But guess what? Assets on the management may be down, but the returns are up. PIMCO's total return fund is beating both the S&P over the past year, and I believe they're beating the average bond. They're doing is better. Right? Yes, they're doing very well. So it's an actively managed fund. And that's, and that's one that marries and mingles all sorts of bonds. Uh, bonds. Right. right. So, they, so they just don't give you a treasury bond. Right, they give right, you a little right. extra. And they've been doing very well since his exit. But what we have here is a bleed of assets. As, as you know, people, what people do is they follow the celebrity out the door. They've been doing that in droves. We have they followed him now to his new home? Uh, he, he's gotten some assets under management. Yeah. Uh, not you know, nearly as much as what they have now, but we should point out that the at total return fund, which was his baby, has, is now, for the first time since 2007, under $100 billion in assets. And as I said, total assets under management at PIMCO, and this is why the, the management is discussing layoffs, like I said, nothing, nothing definitive, discussing at this point, is now down 25% since 2014, Do which is a big decline. Do you think it could be a precursor or maybe telegraphing trouble? In the bond market or prick in the bond bubble, you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, yes. Uh, but I think this is much more of a, um, an issue of celebrity. I think, you know, he got so much play when he left. And investors, you know, they, they follow the name. And uh, for better or worse, you follow the name. Sometimes it works out. Well, sometimes it doesn't. And I could tell you, based on the numbers, people, money has been leaving the door over the past year. But over the past year, the numbers at PIMCO are pretty good, particularly in the total return fund. It's beating its comparables, meaning beating the S&P, which is a large basket of stocks. It's beating the average bond. So that's a pretty good deal. I would just say for investors, don't chase the celebrity. Chase the, uh, chase the asset class that you're looking for. And right now, this is, a, this is a case where they're chasing the celebrity and they're losing. Charlie Gasparino, thank you very, very much.